in business, in investing, you'll make a lot of decisions. In my personal opinion, the most important decision that you'll make is who your partner is. Who you decide to spend your life with can be the most single important decision you'll make in business and or investing, right? What's up, people? Welcome to this episode of the Buy the Hood podcast or webcast because I don't know how you're consuming this content. I'm your host as always. My name is Jimmy. And as we start off every show, that's with gratitude. I want to say special thank you to all the students from Buy the Hood University, as well as every member of MDC Strategy. Special shout out to all the students from the Buy the Hood Ownership Camp. Camp 2023 has started and it's amazing already. One week down, um, we have a lot of new students, some returning students, but the energy is, is amazing. The kids are just intelligent and geniuses, man. I got my partner in Crown Core. Me, Core, what's up, good brother? What's really good, Jim? You know, every day above ground is a good day. So let's go get it again. Thank you to those students. You, you, you guys, energy is amazing. It's the reason why we do this. We want to make sure that we, we, um, our community organization first. Um, we are not a nonprofit, but we are definitely are a community organization. And so we want to make sure that those who um who attend our camp come out with something better on the other side. Absolutely. And um, you know, our, our podcast, we talk about all things black wealth, we talk about all things finance. Um, just just you know, as Corey said, we're a community-based organization. So for those that may be tuning in for the first time, we have a lot of new people on our YouTube channel. Want to shout out you guys. And also, please make sure you share this. I think we're close to 66, 6,700 subscribers. We're trying to get the 10K before the year is out. So make sure you share this if you are watching it on YouTube. And if you're listening to the audio, make sure to go subscribe to the By the Hood YouTube channel. But in the past, we highlighted a lot of uh, brothers and sisters who are doing positive work. I would say majority of them are doing positive work. But we decided to switch our podcast because... You know, there's a lot of a lot of fraud and everything going on. So we just come on to talk about issues that um, pertain to our community, pertain to wealth. Um, and, you know, our podcast, we make them a little bit shorter so they can be more di more digestible. But our other show, and I just want to put this out there because I know that a lot of people who listen to our podcast, listen to the audio. That's where the majority of our listenership comes from, the audio from Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and such. Uh, we have a Friday show that only airs via video which is on YouTube and also our Facebook page. And our Friday show that comes on at 7 p.m., most Fridays, some Fridays when stuff's going on, we don't make it. But most Fridays, I would say about 95% of the Fridays we're there. We do a Bitcoin giveaway. We talk to the community. We talk about everything. We talk about finance. We talk about TV shows, memes, and people. But that's kind of like our show. We just kick back and have fun. So make sure you check that out. And like I said, we do a giveaway every week. We give away $50 in Bitcoin literally every week to the folks that are watching live with us. Um, that's an amazing show. We have a lot of fun doing the Friday show. But this is our Wednesday podcast. And if you're listening or watching this, it's a little bit late this Wednesday. That's because it was a holiday weekend. You know, things got crazy. And, and Dr. Umar, do not attack me. I did not go out and celebrate the 4th. <laughs> did not celebrate the 4th. Let me repeat it a couple of times like Dr. Umar. I did not celebrate the 4th. It wasn't us. I did not celebrate the 4th. Hear me. I did not celebrate the 4th. But... It is an opportunity for me to kick back and just not do anything and relax with family. I ain't going to lie to you. I was watching Apple TV. I finished the first season of The Silo and um, watched Idris' new show, um, which is crazy, called Hijack. So, you know, I know usually the stuff we talk about in our Friday show. But with that being said, today's show, we do have a topic, right? And I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to read the stories. For those watching the actual video, you'll be able to see the article. If you're listening to this, I'm going to read the article so you can have context and understand what we're talking about. But I would love to get feedback from everybody. I'm going to say that before I read the article to get your perspective and see um, what you think about that. But the first thing I want to say is this, you know, in business. Right. And as a matter of fact, let me say this. In business, in investing, you'll make a lot of decisions. In my personal opinion, the most important decision that you'll make is who your partner is. Who you decide to spend your life with can be the most single important decision you'll make in business and or investing, right? So I want to put that out there, right? Um, and I know that some people may disagree with me, but that's my personal opinion. With that being said, I want to get into this story that um, that we came across that we wanted to bring to the pod, right? 
and I'll read it. I'm not going to read the entire article. I will put a link to the article in the show notes as well as the description if this is the YouTube channel. And I also want to give credit to Market Watch. Shout out to Market Watch. Um, this is a part of their series they have called The Money Is. Uh, I enjoy The Money Is series because a lot of times in um, we talk about personal finance. We, we talk about fairies and all these things. But when you see people in their specific situations um, and how they try to navigate these situations, it gives you – it's almost like um, – having word problems in school, but then actually seeing it in real life, right? So this is these are real life stories. So that being said, make sure you check out the money is, uh, section on MarketWatch at MarketWatch.com. I want to make sure I shout them out. And I will put a link to this article in the show notes as well as the description. So for those listening, I'll read it to you so you guys can understand. For those watching, you'll be able to see the article, but you can also click and read the article as well. So with that being said, the title of the article says, he's content living paycheck to paycheck. My husband won't work or get a driver's license. Now things have gotten even worse. He's too tired to leave and won't, and we don't have anything but bills, right? So it says, Dear Quentin, who is the money is that they send these articles into. I am married, but we are both different people. And I get the feeling my husband doesn't even like me. He's too tired to leave and we don't have anything but bills. He doesn't have a driver's license and he won't even go to court to pay his fines and get it back. He's content with living paycheck to paycheck. I'd like to be able to leave my girls something. Unlike our parents, we've always struggled except for the beginning of our marriage when he was making 70K a year. Now he doesn't make half of that. I was working until I felt at home and I started receiving unemployment, but I've always done side jobs. I still get ideas of ways to make money selling online. Meanwhile, my husband has no desire for change. We're getting old. Our bodies are breaking down. I love to own a home again, but it seems like he's trying to take me down with him. He drives without a license. <laughs> Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. He won't file income taxes, so I guess he thinks he's invincible. My kids still need me. I don't want his actions to destroy me. Do you think a legal separation and bankruptcy will help? I don't know what else to do. He's gotten so mean when I ask him about his plans. Now, um, that's the gist of it. And, you know, like I said, if you want to read the full article... You can read the full article, but I'm not going to read, you know, sit here and read the full article for this pod. But that is the gist of it. So with that being said, I'm going to let my brother give his perspective on this first. Um, what do you think about this specific situation and overall the situation when you and your partner are just clearly on different pages? Um, damn. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Um. I think she should look out for self. I don't know what else to, to, to say. Like, if my man is content in the life that he's living, leave him there. Like, it's, it's, it's but so much you could do for another human being. Um, so to me, there's other part but, of it. But kids. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but now, if you're one of those people who believe in until death do us part, then y'all need to go to counseling. Y'all need to go get some, um, get a third party involved, um, because clearly he's not listening to you. <laughs> um, so y'all need to go get a third party involved, um, and that might, you know, remedy some of the things that are going on. But um, at that point, when he's because right now anything you she says to him is going to be straight up defense mode. Because yeah, yeah. he's he's not he's not paying no attention to whatever she's trying to get across. So they got to get a third party involved if she's going to stick it out. All right. So let me ask you this question though. Before I give a perspective on that specific, what mm -hmm. do you think about the overall idea of the power or lack of power for being being on the same page with your spouse? What are your thoughts on that? Oh man, um, if y'all ain't on the same page, that's going to be a mess. Um, he or she is they an anchor at that point. If y'all because you are anchored to each other because y'all pulling in different directions, and so y'all gonna go a lot of nowhere fast. Um, yeah, y'all gonna y'all. I mean, two people pulling in opposite directions. Even if one person is stronger than the other, you still don't move that fast. <laughs> so that's an absolute fact. That's an absolute fact. So 
the other part of that is, um, you know, in our book, and, and for those who don't know, Corey and I wrote a book. It's called Own Your Time and Space. You can get it from ownyourtimeandspace.com. There's also a link in the show notes in the description for our book. We wrote a book a couple of years called Own Your Time and Space. But in that, in that idea of time, right, when you have a partner that you're on the same page with, I like your analogy of you guys are both pulling in one way. But the other part of it is you almost create time, right? Because if you're focused on the same thing, you're able to get that accomplished at a much faster speed than if you got, you're working on this and you're, you know, we're just all over the place. So you almost create time by working, you know, working towards the same goals. Um, and there's nothing more powerful than that. I always get an, a, a kick out of when I read these stories about people in the fire movement and most of the people that have able are able to obtain fire are usually couples. And it's because, you know, that framework has given them both an idea and they're both working towards that. So it might be a situation where, you know, they're they're stacking one of the salaries and the other salary they're, um, you know, they're stacking one of the salaries and living off the other one. So that that's always a unique thing. You always see couples. There's always couples there. So um, about this specific case, though, it sounds like main man is just giving up like he's just done with it. Yeah. And it also might be one of those situations where he's trying to like, you know, I've seen I've seen people. um. Getting a divorce without getting divorced. That, but also where they're like, I ain't gonna be the bad guy, so I'm just gonna act like this until she leave. Like I ain't gonna, you know what I mean? Like I ain't gonna leave, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make her leave. He don't, he don't want the he don't want the breakup on his hands, but he break yeah, he broke up. He yeah, don't want the yeah, breakup yeah. on his hands. Yeah, so I, it might be one of them situations as well. So yeah, it sounds like one of them situations, man. Like some, and but to your point though, sometimes people be in marriages that be over a long time. They just be in them anyway. Um. And that's the other part about kids. I once knew a guy who told me, he was a successful guy too. He was like, yeah, so when my kids turn 18 and we get a divorce. And I said, what you mean? He said, oh, we've already talked about it. We only together till they're 18. And then after that, we out of here. I was like, damn. Like, you know, it was all part of their planning. Um, and also something else I realized <laughs> as an adult is the idea of marriage means something different to different people. I'm going to keep it a thought while. That's what my dad and my um, stepmom did. What they my had dad, an actual, a, actual they got a divorce. They got a divorce right after my sister graduated. She turned 18. My youngest sister turned mm -hmm. 18, and my dad and my stepmom literally like within three months of that was divorced. Mm. I mean, see, sometimes it's part of their plan, but again, what I realize is that's why I'm on I'm my own business instead, like because everybody's idea of what marriage is is something different, right? So, you know, but this is just a sad situation. But um, I think the overall um you know, story or idea that I want to communicate via this pod is that that's a huge decision you make. So take it serious because as it, as it pertains to your finances and putting things in place for your family, um, to me, to me personally, that's the most important decision you make because yeah. to Corey's point about that boat, that's why that's a great analogy. I've never heard you use that before, but that's the greatest analogy. If I'm pulling one way and you pull in the other way, even if I'm stronger, I'm only going, but you know what I mean? Like, that's a perfect analogy. But yeah, guess you what? So Even far, if you man. use your strength and you pulling with me, now we moving. Yeah. You know, now we moving uh, up the ladder to success, escalator style. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta so, keep the hip hop references. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. For those that quarter, they catch it. But if not, that's all good, too. So I want to know how what you guys think out there. What do you guys think about this specific story in this article? What should she do? But also, what are your thoughts? Your thoughts on that? How important it is to pick the right person. Your person got to be your person, right? Because even if we're not talking about in the marriage romantic type part situation, it could be the same thing in terms of partnerships and business. You know what I mean? Like, if you in sports, you got to have the right people on your team. Like, your team is is, is important to have the right people, man. Um, Jim Collins, who wrote the book From Good to Great, always talks about the great businesses put the right people on the bus right um so you got to make sure you do that in your personal life as well so i mean my thoughts are um what she should do is i think corey hit it on the head like if you're willing to like work through it you got to get a, a third party in there but it sounds to me like my main man won't even agree to that like <laughs> according to the way she was painting that picture man yeah. main man done like main man just don't know how to say he done but you know, he's he's all, he's all but giving up. My man won't even get his license back. He like F it. Yo, my man won't even file taxes, B. Like now you're messing with the wrong folks. 
Yeah, them them boy them boys don't play. They they coming for the yeah, they coming for hell. Like you must they say don't, with the real they don't gangsters. play at all. They yeah, you playing with them paperwork gangsters, man. Like listen, he man. he out there. Listen, I I can't tell because listen, man, I was riding dirty forever, ever. Like you know what I mean. Like so so I'm not talking about the the driver's license part because we we. You know, we'll we'll deal with that part, but the IRS part. Listen, Erwin R. Shyster plays no games. He's the coming whole, for his like, bread. The driver's license part, eh? The the IRS part, boy, boy is playing with. He yeah, playing, playing with fire. Light, not even fire. He playing with lightning. Yeah, they like, can throw you in a can. They could they could go into yeah. your bank account. They can go into your brokerage account. They they got powers yeah, that like, other folks don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's 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 crazy. Like. He yeah, whoever you are, if you out there, don't play with them, don't play with them federales, man. Those are the real <laughs> federales. Like yeah. they they come in, they like the king. You know how the king used to send out the uh the search party for people to come and, and bring back gold, like yes. in the in the feudal times. That's listen, them. They play yeah. no games, they don't want listen. So yeah, that's they the, burn that's they the burn down villages, like you better you better they leave them it. alone, man. And I don't care what none of your family, your self-sovereign family tells you. They will throw you in the can and take what. Like so, my thing is, their take just, was yours. Yeah, when he gets to that point, um, yeah, since you you might have to look out for the kid because there's kids involved too, right? And that's when it becomes sad when there's kids involved because that's going to be the thing to keep her longer than she probably should is because those kids are there. But you also got to look out for the best interest of them. If he's giving up on life like that, like you got to make sure the kids is, is, is straight. My man ain't trying to work. He ain't trying to do nothing like, you know, anyway, man, shout out to her, man. Um, But again, remember that decision is the most important decision, at least according to me. But give us your feedback. Let us know what you think. Please share this video. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. We have a goal. We're trying to hit 10K before the end of 2023. That is our goal. Um, You know, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate the love that we do get. You know, make sure you join us on Fridays at 7 p.m. Corey, you got any last words? Yeah, man. Love each other enough not to do that to each other. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't don't give up, man. Like, you know, every day above ground is another day to get it right. That's right. Whatever, whatever that spark is, go, you know, find it. Cause that's 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 a wild way to live life, man. <laughs> Shout out to my little league coach, Mr. Anderson, man. I was a young boy and I'll be complaining and crying about something. He'd be like, yo, yo, yo. I'll be like, what? Did you die? I'm like, no. All right, well, you got a chance to fix it. I mean, I probably was too young to hear that, but at the end of the day, I never forget it. So, shout to Mr. Anderson if you out there, man. <laughs> that's, that's yo, that's perfect. Like, <laughs> shout to him if you out there, man. Did you check? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, "No, well, you can fix whatever's wrong." Then I'm like, yeah. "All right, cool." You know, what I mean, he was saying it to me as like a six year old though. I wasn't ready for that. But anyway, with all that being said, <laughs> um, shout out to everybody, man. We appreciate y'all. As we always say, it's not about how much money you make; it's about how much you keep. Game Elevates. We'll see you guys in our next episode. Peace.